Princess of Wales Catherine is often seen laughing and joking at royal events with her husband, William, Prince Harry, or Queen Camilla. But what is her relationship like with father-in-law, King Charles? The pair have known each other for over a decade, and from the early days of William and Kate's relationship, it has been clear that there is an ease between the Duchess and the future king, which has developed into a deep mutual appreciation from gentle gestures to raucous laughter and shared jokes to a spot of arts and crafts. Charles and Kate have shared some truly adorable moments. It was a no-brainer that Kate's first solo engagement was actually on the king's behalf. At the time, he referred to her as his darling daughter-in-law, and this affection he feels for her has always been clear. It was believed that funerals are a time of reconciliation and that sight. Let's be honest, that's what many wanted to see. Not least the family itself, one touching moment. The Princess of Wales shared a kiss on the cheek with her grief-stricken father-in-law as they leave Prince Philip's funeral. The princess consoled her father-in-law as a pair walked out of St. George's Chapel following yesterday's emotional service. In memory of the Duke of Edinburgh, photographs showed Kate comforting the king over the loss of his father by putting her hand on his shoulder. She then kisses him on the cheek as they set off from the entrance of the chapel. King Charles had earlier been visibly emotional as he walked into the procession. Moments after consoling Charles Kate, was then seen playing peacekeeper between husband William and his brother, Harry. Harry was initially seen speaking to his sister-in-law as they left the chapel and began walking. But she then appeared to hang back so he could talk to William for a few moments without her. The brother's discussion came following an impromptu decision by some of the royal family to walk back to the castle despite state cars having been put on for them and it gave the cameras a chance to see them talk. It is believed King Charles, who usually resides in High Grove House in Gloucester, had been staying in London since visiting his father in the hospital last month and arrived separately from his wife in a heartbreaking moment. The late queen was seen sitting alone in the chapel before returning to nearby Windsor Castle, an estate Bentley with COVID rules, banning her from mixing with the rest of her family. The Duke of Sussex made the 10-hour flight to Britain for the funeral this week, while his wife Meghan, who is around seven months pregnant with her second child, remained in L.A. While plans for a wake have been scraped, King Charles, who was emotional before and during the service, intends to spend some time with his younger son, perhaps taking him for a walk. The princess talked while walking out of St. George's Chapel following the service this afternoon, having earlier taken part in the procession, either side of their cousin Peter Phillips behind the Duke of Edinburgh's coffin. About an hour earlier, the Duke of Cambridge entered the chapel one place ahead of his younger brother, and the brothers were seated opposite one another during the service with William, next to his wife, Kate. William and Harry had looked somber as they walked in silence behind the specifically adapted Land Rover, carrying their grandfather's coffin as it made its way to the chapel, and looked straight ahead as they both wore black suits. It had been quietly hoped the loss of their beloved grandfather, who both men loved deeply, might start the process of rapper The brothers are not thought to have seen each other before the funeral.